Hi, it's Mrs. Crabtree with Homeschool Holiday, and I am here to give you a really quick tutorial on how to make our cow paper plate craft. Okay, so this cow paper plate craft is great for any time of the year, really. Um, but we designed it to go with Cow Appreciation Day in July. The patterns were designed kind of special. See this little guy? He was my daughter's best friend all her years of growing up. And if you promise not to tell anyone, I bet he's still my daughter's best friend, even now. So this is where I got the idea for the pattern. You can make your cow brown, like my pattern here of little new man. You can make your cow black and white because cows come in brown, they come in black and white. Or you can use the color of your own patterns. I have a totally awesome pink and purple cow. One of a kind, unique cow. So you can use the color of your own patterns to create your own cow. The patterns come in easy to cut and assemble, or they come a little more advanced with um, more pieces. So um, you can pick whichever ones you want to use. You need a paper plate, of course, because this is going to give your pattern stability. You need some scissors, nice scissors. You need a glue stick. And if you're going to use the color your own pattern, you may want to have some crayons, colored pencils, markers, paint, whatever it is you want to use to add the color with. Okay, are we ready to get started? All right, print the pattern of your choice. So I have chosen to print the easy um, color pattern for the brown cow. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut these patterns out. So, are you ready? Here we go. It's going to be just like magic. Now that I have all my pieces cut out, you can see all my pieces here. Now that I have all my pieces cut out, I need to prep my paper plate. So, a standard paper plate is a little bit big for my cow's head. So, what I do is I cut off this ribbing here and it gives me a circle just like this. So if you cut off your ribbing and you throw that away, you have a perfect circle ready to roll to assemble your paper plate animal, whichever animal it is we're using the cow. So you take your pattern and your glue stick and you go to town. So I'm gonna attach that here. It's kind of hard to see because it's white. But there we have it kind of centered. Now you can be creative. There's a little picture for you at the bottom of each page so that you can know how to assemble your paper plate animal. But um, creativity counts. You can put your animal together however you would like because secrets out. It's your paper plate animal. So you put it together however you would like. I'm gonna put my cow together so he looks just like my cow so I can surprise my daughter with her own little version of her paper plate animal. And there you have it. If you add a stick, oh, his horn fell off. I need to use a little more glue. It's better if you wait for the glue to dry. If you add a stick, you can make a mask. So now, there's Mrs. Crabtree. There you have it. Quick and easy craft for any afternoon. But if you wanna advertise the fact that we should be, you know, maybe eating more chicken, leaving the cows alone, then you have it. I hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial and you have fun making all the paper plate animals that we have in our collection. Join us again next time at Homeschool Holiday because there's always something to celebrate.